So welcome back. Ninja still bowling. Batsman unable to get it past Sai there in at short extra. Or on the back foot. Looked like maybe just going down. Off his Hugh legs Kennedy, to Hugh. well in there, 45, great fielder Hugh. There's definitely no no one to him there. Malahide still unable to get it away really, it's 47 for 7. Quick single to Jack Atkinson, direct hit, but the batsman was home. Jack Atkinson still sporting a bit of a lockdown haircut underneath that, some hat. Yeah, probably just slowed him up there and it was an easy single in the end. Cut off on the long off boundary by Peter Falken coming around from long on there. And another tight over from Ninja. It's one for five so far off his two overs. Takes Malahide to 49. And it looks like the captain, Connor Austin, to continue from the uh, Van Luce end. Yeah, Connor's second over now. His first over was an excellent over. Only going for one run. Mixing up, mixing it up nicely. Length, line, and the pace. We saw on social media yesterday Connor out playing golf. So I don't know if uh, if the wicket is as hard as he would like today. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he was down, putting in the uh, the work in the morning when the junior training was going on down here. Connor in his capacity as captain of the seconds assistant groundsman, junior coach, member secretary, and captain, and leading wicket taker so far. It's been a busy summer for Rosso. Crack down the ground, looks like it's gonna clear Ninja, but again, very sharp fielding, keeping that just down to one. The ball kind of checked up, a bit like a, a sort of nine iron into the green. One yeah, hop. That was um, it's obviously been raining a lot, so it's pretty wet, and that was a bit like Rosso's 9-9 nine nine yesterday. Just plugged and uh, only able to get the one run. Brings up the 50 for Malahide. But off 14 overs, it's a big hit. Uh, one bounce to Rohit there at mid-wicket. Once again, also just rolling his fingers over the ball, changing the pace, and it was mistimed pull shot to Rohit. Well fielded. Lower again from Osto. This time put over cover. Timsy chasing hard, but that one is going to beat him to the boundary. Excellent shot there. Off the back foot over extra cover. First boundary for a while. Is hit Danny Falkin running round. Clean pick up. The batsman come back for two. That's good running by Leslie Augustine. Yeah, once again, a little bit too short there by Connor Austin and uh, pulled out to the deep mid wicket boundary. Well fielded by young Dan Falkin. Once again, short and cut this time at cover. James Hitchcock at cover. Yeah. Seven off that over from Osto. Not for eight from two overs for him. 
Looks like he's having a chat with Hugh Kennedy there, possibly a change of bowling to come. Uh, you can see Malahide starting to attack a bit more, but uh, still going at below four and over at this late stage in the innings. Yeah, with five overs to go, they're going to have to look to play a few big shots now. Um, Ninja to continue from the Hazeldean end. And I suspect there might be a few slog sweeps here to the vacant Cal Corner region. Ninja may maybe heard what I said there, <laughs> and I was moving Daniel Falken just a little bit straighter from square deep square leg. Now he's gone and in front of the clock at Cal Corner. Big shot, going to try and take Peter Falken's arm on. They're going to have to go. Good attack from Peter to get to the ball and straight in over the stumps. change in the field yeah change in the field now for the left hander you see what um, ninja bowls to the left hander probably look to spin it away oh yeah still a little bit cautious there not quite able to work it for one Sai and Timsey very tight in there Full toss and down the ground again to Peter. Just for one. Right hander back on strike. Yeah, that maybe looked like an opportunity to play it on the leg side to the vacant mid wicket area uh, down to the down to the nets um, off the full toss. Anyways, back to the right hander. Osto on the. Long off boundary there, good pick up from Osto, keeps it to one. Excellent fielding, well attacked there by Connor Austin, really leading by example. Oh, Ninja again pushes him onto the back foot, and uh, Neil Boyne unable to make contact there. No run. Jonahara quickly out from around the stumps. Flighted there. Jack Atkinson reads the spin. That's the end of the over. Just four to go. One for eight for Ninja from his spell so far. John, it's been spin all the way from the uh, Hazel Dean end. Uh, would that be normal amongst uh, in your teams to particularly bowl spin from that end? Well, certainly, yes. Um, the straight boundary at the Hazel Dean end is a little bit longer, so a little bit more protection for the spinners from that end. Um, the pitch seems to be in the middle, so the square boundaries are pretty even either side. Um, but yeah, certainly the straight boundary at the Hazeldean end is is pretty short. Um, sorry, is is the longer of the two boundaries. So um, spinners normally bowl from that end. Connor Austin, he's down here every day. He sees sees what's going on. He knows every inch of of the ground now that he's doing. He's mowing the outfield and cutting the wicket and everything. So he he knows the dimensions and he would get the uh, spinners on from that end. Change of bowling now from Stevenson's end. Hugh Kennedy replaces Connor Austin. Good start from Hugh. Jabbed out to Rohit. At extra cover for a dot. We've seen the two Falcon brothers bowl two tight spells. I was actually down at Terranure on Friday night to see the Falcon mother, Siobhan, bowling a very tight spell for the women's seconds. Got her debut wicket for Marion. Very good. Hugh Kennedy just beating batsman for pace there. Hugh's been playing a lot of first-team cricket this year. 
has bowled very well. Very good T20 bowler. You never know what you're going to get with you. He's got a good slower ball, mixes his length up, and uh, sporting a fresh lid today. So a bit, bit more extra pace. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Right up in the block hole. Excellent death bowling by Hugh Kennedy. He's been practicing that, practicing that at training. So good to see him putting it into, into practice here today. Batsman having a little chat, trying to piece together a plan that's going to get them up to a defensible score. Boyner just giving a bit of advice, trying to t tell his partner to hit it through the covers for four. Oh, well bowled by Hugh. A little bit shorter. Yeah, and S Leslie on the back foot trying to pull that out to James Hitchcock, but just unable to make contact again. Yeah, a little bit late on that. You're just getting an extra bit of kick, as he's accustomed to do. Hmm. Good contact there. Slightly unconventional looking shot. Lent on the back foot, but whacked it over Ninja's head. And first boundary for a while, down to the long off. Yeah, slow ball there by Hugh Kennedy. I don't think the batsman picked it, but uh, just went, went through with the shot and comfortably cleared mid off a couple of bounces and into the fence ninja staying up into the ring oh and what a good comeback from you full and straight and leslie didn't have an answer to that yeah i think you didn't really fancy getting hit there for four off a slower ball so <coughs> good wheels on that full and straight and uh Eighth wicket goes down, Malahad, 63 for eight. Yeah, Hugh, Hugh Kennedy really does mix it up well. Uh, full and straight, you see a, a couple short balls in that over, a, a slower ball, the odd throw. So, difficult T20 bowler to line up. New batsman coming out is Matthew Jeffrey Carrick, and he is one of Malahide's youth players. He's under 17, and he is joining Neil Boyne. Uh, looks like we're returning to Peter Falcon from the Hazeldean end. Peter opened the bowling, and... Uh, Ball two, very tight overs to begin with. Yeah, Peter's an excellent young off spinner. Um, for youngster, really knows what he wants to do. He's setting his own field here. Obviously with a bit of help from Connor Austin, but uh, Peter knows where he wants to bowl it. He knows his fields. He, he always has a plan. Just managed to get that pass size right hand for a single. And it's the new batsman, Matthew Jeffrey Carrick, who's going to face his first ball. Peter Falking directing traffic again now with a right hand on strike, sending Sar ready out to the cow corner boundary. Now moving Hugh Kennedy from a short third man to a mid wicket, bowling to a far four leg side field. Hugh going mm, short mid wicket in a catching position. Nice flight from P and it looked like a leading edge back off a uh, low full toss. Just nudged off an inside edge into the gap. Rohit runs round from 45 to pick it up. Boyne back on strike, who's uh, 
on 11. Tight rolling from Peter. Just nudged out to Timsey. Well taken single there. Again, Jack Atkinson, maybe a little bit deep. Peter Falcon mi mixing it up here. The little arm ball, changing the pace a little bit quicker. And the batsman can't get it past Tim C. And that is the end of another tight Peter Falcon over. Peter's gone for just five runs from his three overs so far, including the first two overs of uh, of the innings. Yeah, that's a brilliant return that by Peter Falcon. So two overs to go, and probably to be bowled by. Hugh Kennedy and Peter Falcon. Sight screen just being moved over again for the lefty, Neil Boyne. Harry Boger helping out down there, having moved across from Boger Corner. I'd like to see Hugh going full and straight here. Clean up the stumps again. Well bowled and well kept out. What's the plan now? 11 balls to go, Mark. A few big swings. I think I would be dancing down the wicket and quite shortly afterwards returning to the pavilion at this stage, John. Well that's oh, pretty. Full and straight from round the wicket. And uh, Neil Boyne trapped in front. Umpire raises his finger. And uh, Owen Kirhain walks out. Again, another youth player walking out of the last Malahai batsman. Good experience for the two young Malahar guys. We were saying earlier on uh, commentary, John, that there are six members of the Merion team today who've come up through um, the youth teams all the way from under 11s uh, up to now be playing in the seconds. Very good. Right, last man in. What does Hugh Kennedy have for us? Full and straight, I reckon. So he looks like he's got a few extra yards of pace today, Hugh. Bit of bounce there. Right. Peter Falcon comes running in from fine leg, and that is one leg by, I think. I think that surprised the batsman as well as me. Hugh going short there. There we oh. go, full and straight, that does the trick. That's the end of the innings.
Very nicely finished off by Hugh. Ball practically hitting the base of the stumps, and that's a very good performance from Merrion Seconds, giving themselves 67 to win. 68 to win.
Malahide Twos, Michael Cowdery and Sean Stanton now in the box. Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, good start from Marion, 68. Yeah, 61 out, I mean, to them, yeah. Hitchy bowled well, James Hitchcock. And James Hitchcock, great Hugh bowler. Hugh with some good pace there. Mm. Yeah, I think um, they've they've a strong batting lineup as well. Timsey opening opening the batting, so should, should see a few boundaries. Yeah, some good bowling figures actually from there. Yeah, I mean, Hugh Kennedy, 3.4, he's 4 for 11. That's tight. Get him in the ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Hitchy, four overs, four for 14. Also, Danny, Danny Fork involved really tightly, three overs for nine. Um, Osto and Nin Niranjan, three overs, one for eight. That's tight as well. They're good bowling performers. Joining Timsey at the crease is uh, John O'Hara, the wicketkeeper for Marion. How old is John now? John must be f 17. Um, yeah, he's, well he's been hitting them one in the net. Yeah, I've been coaching John for the last few years, and his keeping and batting have both improved. Are you claiming all of that? Oh, yeah. every single last bit of it. Yeah, yeah John, no. if you're listening back to this, <laughs> you're welcome, mate. How um, much is he paying you to do that? Uh, Thirty big, now. Big bucks, big bucks. <laughs> now, John, John can hit a ball. John is a clean, clean striker of the ball. Um, hopefully, I'm not jinxing him, but he is. Uh, he's come on a lot. Another few youth youth in the team uh, yeah, I saw him Jack batting, Atkinson yeah. they both played well batter. in that 19s game the other day I, was like, yeah, I can't remember who it was against but they both, they both played pretty well yeah against um, Pembroke they chased down 170 in a uh, yeah, Jamie McNulty yeah. monster man and, uh, yeah monster reds got called in first ball Timsy on the drive just straight to extra cover no run what do, what do we think of the pitch today it's, it's played okay it's yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't. I didn't put grade on it. I think we bowled pretty well. Uh, yeah, I think it was a mix of an okay pitch mixed with good bowling. Yeah. Um. Actually, we don't know who's opening the bowling here. I think it is. It is Owen Kilhan. Kilhan bowls. Timsy on the drive straight to mid on no run. He he has the keeper standing up here. I'd say, being a being a kind of similar bowler myself. If I was slower him, than yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit slower. Very but generous, um, giving yourself <laughs> that much pace. <laughs> I'd say he'll be trying to trying to hit the stumps, bring the LB into play. Um, especially Surprised they haven't got a short catcher in on the offside. Mm, a tennis cricket. ball fancy. Yeah, I know, yeah. but still chasing a low score. Timsy on the drive, taking the quick single. Oh, Throw, oh. misses. Off the mark. I think that would have been close. No wicket off three. Yeah, a keeper standing up. Going to try put put the batsman under pressure straight away. They, they kind of have to do that. They don't really have an opportunity. I here know a man in the first team named Dom Joyce who'd be going mad. Ones in the ring. Jeez. Ones in the ring. It's just Can't not acceptable. It is not acceptable. Don, if you're li Dom, if you're listening, um, we're we're thinking about you. It's yeah. It's it's not acceptable. Ones in the ring. <laughs> His first so here's John O'Hara. Let's see some shots from John. I think they'll go hard in the power play here. Oh, says no to that run. Probably one there if he wanted it. Yeah, a little quick single would have been nice well to get off the mark. Square leg though. Yeah, Malahide have always been a good fielding side. They um, they've always been a solid solid side. A lot of good games over the past kind of five years. Our twos against their twos. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see a bit of fight in them. See a good game. Johnny O'Hara on the drive straight to mid off no run. Full toss would look to get a boundary there. Yeah, being new to Irish cricket, I haven't actually made my way up to Malahide yet. We they won our league this year, but I mean, hopefully, next season I get to play up there. Yeah, beautiful ground. Um, I remember they've they've two pitches out there. One pitch is more for the youth teams, and uh, then the main pitch is lovely flat deck. Probably watched on the test game, did you? Yeah, I watched it when they played Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The first over bowled. And one for no wicket. Bottle over. I meant to ask you this actually. What have you thought of Irish cricket so far? Yeah, it's been good, mate. A lot better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, no, it's been a. What, what, I, I what, did you, what did you picture? What was the picture in your well head? No, I just thought it'd be pretty, uh, pretty uh, green decks and a lot of seams green nipping decks. around. But no, they've been good. Um, training, especially, has been really high standard. Yeah, good standard. Um, and getting to play with the, the great man, Johnny Anderson. I mean. Oh. What a privilege that is. <laughs> Standing at the other end, watching him smoke them everywhere. Look, don't we all love to see it? Yeah, and, and uh, 
did you did you come over and you were like looked up online what clubs to go to or how did it come about came to I the luckily um, got a recommendation from my stepdad and he knowing he knows Irish cricket a bit that um, he uh, pointed me right in the direction of Merion um, and lucky enough yeah, I enjoyed it it's been great enjoyed your summer looking forward to a bit of longer format cricket next year though a bit of 50 over stuff yeah 50 over cricket would be good to get back to it So we've got Matthew Jeffrey Carrick coming into bowl here. Fairly long run up. Keeper standing back. Good to see a bit of pace. Not a bad start. Wide of ball stump. the privilege of playing golf with the groundsman yesterday Connor Austin it was an interesting experience very interesting experience or oh, top edge here keeper goes back he's got him Timsy goes for one well bold though it's good length good length, length to hit on they gotta be hitting pitch. yeah definitely back As of the length Kennedy showed back of the length making the batsman play that shot big so top edge and good catch from the keeper though good catch it's definitely been a seamer's day today Eight wickets in the first first session were taken by seamers, so I'd imagine Malahide will use that information and bowl a lot of seam in the second innings. Coming into bat number three is Rohit. I've not just seen much of Rohit. Good player. Good player. I think he's um he's he's very good off the front foot and has a lovely back foot cover drive. What will he look to do here, do you reckon? Do you reckon he'll look to go high on the player playoff? That first over only went for one here, so Malahide will be looking for that at number two, number three wickets, and then they're riding the game. Yeah, need to up the running rate a bit, don't we? Yeah, I mean, Johnny O'Hara, I reckon, will start smoking around in a minute. Yeah, I think chasing a low score like this, the best way to go about it is actually to show intent and hit some boundaries, take the pressure completely off. Still have the two men back here to row it on his first ball. Deep cover in third man. I'm surprised by that. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not slipping there. 67 yeah. chasing 68. Always got to be aggressive in those first couple of overs. Batsman uncertain. Deep cover's about six or seven yards off the ring. And again. Oh, it's a good shot. Well played by Rowett. Lovely flick off the legs for four. Down towards the daughter. Timed that beautifully. Yeah, it's well timed. That's good first ball as a batsman. Just get off the mark with that. Give his confidence the world a good. It's one thing Rowett does very well is he keeps his balance. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily have a big stride towards the ball, but always keeps his balance and hits under his eyes. And again, in the air, but straight to deep cover. Ball's just been a bit full, those last two deliveries. First two balls were good, hitting the deck hard. As, um, John O'Hara is still yet to get off the mark. It's good practice for John O'Hara to be batting with. A, a more experienced player like Rohit to really learn a lot when he's batting. O'Hara with the leave. Length ball outside the off stump. Looks like Naranjan Shankar is padded up and ready to come in at number four. Might see some big hitting from Sai ready at number five if yeah, we're looking. I'm looking forward to watch him bat actually. Yeah, you haven't you've heard a lot of a lot of stories but yeah. haven't haven't seen him. John O'Hara. Ooh. Bit of swing, I reckon. Yeah, comes down the wicket a few steps. Tries to drive him. He's five off the over. Six for one is the score. Good to get early wickets, though, and chase your small target.
same bowler? Yeah, it's the same bowler. Looks like they're staying with Seam. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised they're going to stay with it for most of the innings based on Hitchcock and Kennedy taking four apiece. Yeah, I'd definitely, definitely stick with Seam for a bit anyway. I don't. I, I wasn't watching the live stream actually. I didn't see if it was spinning, but no, they bowled pretty tightly though. Both Borkin brothers bowling well, mm. and the Ranjan. Oh, short pulled away. Oh, oh drop, drop catch. Looks at square leg takes the single. Rohit moves on to six. Hit Should flat have taken hard. That. Straight to him though. Dom Joyce would be going mad if he was standing at fine leg there. Big disappointment for Malahide. They would have won with the second wicket there. And again, bowls. Length delivery. Oh, oh, nearly again. Takes the one though, does John O'Hara. Could be overthrows here. No, well backed up. O'Hara off the mark. Marion Batsman trying to give some catching practice here. Need to, need to hit the ball along the floor, I think. He's in again. Rohit on strike. Short ball. That's away at cover. Just got a three game off this. Who they're playing today? Three's game. I actually don't know who they're playing. Um, three's are playing straight after this, though. Grain's looking well. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be a good, job, good day. Rain keeps away. Hopefully get a... Get a good few watches on the live yeah. stream. Wouldn't we love that, <laughs> Michael? God. And again, hits on the pads, no run, just slime down leg. Yeah, that's one thing about Marion is the outfield is always quite quick. Even when it's wide, it's quick, isn't it? Yeah, it's quick outfield. The 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 pitch in general hasn't hasn't um hasn't changed too much over the last three years. It's been solid decks. Yeah, we sit next to him. Getting better and better. Man, he does love batting at Merrin. Mr. John Anderson. In again, blowed. Another man who likes batting at Merrin. To the left of me is uh, Mr. Robert Stanton. <laughs> <laughs> loves, loves a good shot over extra cover. Yeah. For anybody who knows him, yeah. That's his shot. Unfortunately, it didn't pass on to the next generation, which <laughs> I really wish it did. And uh, I've just I've just been tapped on the shoulder by Robbie's wife Arlene and asked to mention that <laughs> this is his fiftieth consecutive season in the club. That's uh, that's very impressive to be fair. Well fielded though at square leg. Wow we great work. Yeah. That's what you need when defending a low turtle though. Y you need good fielding. Top is eight off the first three overs, eight for one. Both batsmen just giving themselves a bit of time to get in. Start going these next three. Make the most of the power play. Um, yeah, definitely. John's eye is in. Rowan's eye should be in as well. So hopefully they make use of that and don't don't give their wicket away. From what I understand, Marion need to win this game to go through to the semi-finals. Wide. Takes a score to nine for one. Walking past the com box right now is Hugh Kennedy. Taking four wickets. Big smile on his face. Happy out. Probably he's going to call the mother. Tell her about it. There you go. He's in again here. Yeah. A higher on strike. On the drive. Another wide ball. Oh, the umpire hasn't given it. Said it was in the lines. Uh, while we have him there, is the wicket good, Hugh? Yeah, he says he says it was a good wicket. I think he's complimenting his bowling, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but no, it uh, it was a great spell by Hitchcock and Kennedy. Hitchcock, who was clocked at eighty-five miles an hour during training this week. 
Yeah. Serious player. R- rumours have spread around the club quickly. Yeah, that's what I heard this morning. Yeah. Um, just coming back from that back injury as well. Yeah. Yeah. The youth players in the club are very keen to see him bowl. Wasn't no. actually here, but he uh, apparently hit you, hit those, uh, hit those flats last week. Massive six. Yeah, I mean big six. Don't know what number he's coming in, but I wouldn't be afraid to get him up the order, get the scoreboard flowing a bit. But he's probably too tired from that fourth. Yeah, probably going to take a break. Yeah. Let the other lads do something. Yeah. <laughs> Here's O'Hara. And he comes again. O'Hara on strike. Oh, <laughs> thick edge, down to third man for one. Scoreboard keeps ticking over. That's the score to 11. Yeah. 50 consecutive seasons. That's very impressive from Bobsey. Yeah. Would he have played in most of the sides? Um, well, the club was a lot smaller club back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Julianne has just informed us that he hasn't made the women's team, which um, I don't think he'll be playing for in the future, but who knows? Mate, you never know. You do never know. And Rohit just drives that one straight. Point from this field goes for one. Yeah, 50 seasons of cricket, you'd have to be pretty keen keen to play. Um, I don't know, will my body still be working by then? But Ooh. we'll wait and see. again he's in again O'Hara cuts that or oh, misfield at point for one run another m- another Marion member who's played a lot of seasons for Marion is Jim Walsh this is his 50th men's season of playing so he's probably wow. played about 56 seasons in total kids and men's yeah. so he's played a played a lot of cricket in Marion Jim's son, JJ, opting to play for Trinity this year. He's in again. Rohit on the drive, straight to extra cover. Oh, misfield, but no run. Overbold. 13 for one off four. Bit of a slow start here for Merrin. Yeah. Both Let's batsmen trying to get in. Looks like a change of bowler. Not sure who it is yet. It looks like another seamer. Keepers putting the helmet behind him, standing back. Keeps quite a long way back here, actually. into bowl is Leslie Augustine. Leslie's in again. Bowls oh it's not oh Ooh, that's not slow that. No nope. bowl from Leslie. John O'Hara on the pull just gets to the top of the bat. Nearly caught and bowled. Bit of pace. John O'Hara might be a little bit surprised by that. Quicker than both the opening seamers I think. Yeah, it's not slow. Similar similar style and plan to Q Kenny first innings. What an interesting field here. Only deep cover and third man back. And again, bowls or oh, beats the outside edge while bowled. Three here. There he is. Augustine in again. Oh, short one. Beats O'Hara. That's by. Good intent by John. 
Just yeah, pull yeah. the ball, not let the Madi go out. No, I think he's looking to get on with it now. He's given himself four overs. Just to see how Merrion approaches these last two overs of the power play. Yeah. Hopefully they hopefully they make use of the only two men out, but who knows, they might. Yeah, Augustine in again. Short ball. Rohit tries to pull it, just stuck in the wicket a bit. No run. He's only bowled one full ball over the last four balls. Really looking to hit it into the back of the length area. There's Augustine in again. Bowls, back of the length, row it. Takes that one straight to extra cover. It's a nice sound off the bat, but... It looks, it looks too very two-face wicket, this one. Yeah, looks slow. Um, good enough bounce in it. Balls are coming through. But not, not, not a batsman's paradise today. Bowls, row it. Flicks that one just behind square for one. Malahide captain not happy with those ones in the ring. It's very like an ex-captain of Merrion. B. Joyce. I've enjoyed though playing with this year. It's been good. Um, all the boys actually welcomed me really nicely into the club. Uh, shame we couldn't have made it through to the semi-finals. You know, not a bad year. Yeah. It's good. It's good for youngsters like ourselves to be playing with guys with a lot of experience. Dom and John and Tyrone and Max, is Max as well. has a lot of experience in the team, so that's been brilliant. Mm -hmm. You missed you missed playing with one of uh, one of my favourite players to play with, David Langford Smith. Yeah, I, I had the privilege of meeting him actually at, up at um, North Kildare first game of the season. I uh, looked like a top bloke. Yeah, top bloke, top player. Change of bowler here from Malahide. Oh, that's long. And that has been hit into the dotter. That's huge. Right on the pool there. It's gone miles. First ball bowled by a sheep has been unfortunately flat batted into the dotter. Don't Not a nice there. welcome to Anglesey Road, but hopefully he recovers next ball. I think Rohit was anticipating that one. He's in that position. He just whacked it and he's absolutely smoked. Yeah, they had a few short balls last over, so they decided let's go after it. Nah, it's been a good start for Merrion considering slow couple of overs, but it's only one, one off 5.1. Umpire's looking for a new ball, it seems. John Anderson sitting next to me. How would you go about chasing a low total like this, John? Hi, Michael. Um, yeah, show a bit of intent there, like Rohit's just done. Make use of the power play. We had a couple, a few faults in a couple of low, low chases here over the last few years, and certainly learning from that. Just go hard, try to kill the game in 12 overs, 13 overs. Yeah, I remember we had a on the on losing side of that Pembroke game about three or four weeks ago here, only chasing 110. Sort of killed our season, really. If we'd won that, we would be going through, really. But it's just annoying. I mean, it could go either way. But chasing 110, probably should have shown a bit more intent up top. But losing wickets early doors didn't help our our efforts. Here he is in again. John O'Hara on the drive. Good shot. It's Lovely gone straight drive. through extra cover. That could go for four. Fielder in chase. Uh, well fielded. Wanted three, but ended up saying no. Captain Connor Austin obviously didn't cut the grass enough this morning. <laughs> the ball hasn't quite reached the boundary. Yeah, that's all that golf yesterday. Should have been out here cutting it. In again here. John O'Hara just seems to turn up. Oh, yeah, good running. Nice run. 
Good single by John. Give it 10 from John. John Anderson was saying there, showing 10 in the power play. Let's kill the game. That's good from John O'Hara there. It looks to be seeing them pretty well here. I wonder if he lost his last two balls he over when he takes them off. Oh, what bold. Just a little inside edge on that. Trying to find leg for one. We got to watch a good game of cricket here on Thursday night. Yeah. Our uh, Marion women's first team took on Pembroke in T20 and fortunately it was DL it was decided by Duncan Lewis but it was a good win which left I believe our women's team second in the league overall or the league overall yeah second overall second place playoff game unfortunately we won what, what um, position did they finish last year not different formats. Too sure, there's a lot of there's a lot of different formats. But we have we have Julianne Morrissey close to the phone box, but uh, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. We don't know, but we've we've um we've got a we've got a really good women's side this year, and the women's second team have been going well as well. I hear they they won a game against Terrier recently, which they were all extremely happy about. Steen in again here. Yeah. Right here on strike. Oh, dead ball. Just lost his run up there. Didn't quite have the energy to bowl that ball. Got a bit <laughs> tired. Took a break. Yeah. He's in again. Long. It's only seven for one off first six here. And good start from Mary. And it's Augustine in again. Bowls. Short ball. Rowett pulls away. That's a great shot. That's four runs. He's ready for the short ball. Rowett. Definitely going to take it on. That's a good shot from her. He's very quick on that shot. That brings up Marion to 27 for one after six overs. Nine less to strike. They moved to 31. Oh, was that I'm mistaken. Boundary? Here is Augustine in again here. Row it on strike. On again. Oh, just flicks his pad on the way through. Tried to squeeze it into the leg side. Missed it. Good length, Augustine's bowling. I mean, obviously, bro, it's quick on the pull shot, so just maybe borrowing that sort of thigh pad height to flicks it. So that was a much better length. Yeah, he's chained up to his length nicely. Yeah, it's an interesting field he's got. I mean, both mid on and mid off up. Only the row hit goes down the ground. Deep mid wicket and deep extra cover. Bowls, where it drives. Lovely shot out to keep extra cover for one. Yeah, we haven't we haven't seen many slower balls this game. Maybe the pitch isn't isn't designed for slower balls, but I definitely would throw in a few. Malahide need to take a good few wickets here. Yeah, I mean, it, I s I'm still questioning this field why there's so many men on the rope. You can get get guys in, get a few catches in. I just have to take wickets if they're going to win this game. Yeah, especially um, especially if bowler bowling good pace and bowling back of length to short. I don't understand why they wouldn't have a deep square out and not have deep mid wicket, but it's it's an interesting tactic. Yeah, I mean Maybe they're looking to get a catch in it. Yeah, square leg know, here. I mean John O'Hara isn't like teeing off at the moment, so I mean I don't know. Still on bowls. Let well that's a good shot from John O'Hara. Beautiful shot Straight down the over ground. the top. Straight over mid off before. That's all we're just talking about. Great intent from John O'Hara. Um timed that beautifully down the ground. Takes us off thirty four for one off six. Annoyed that just too full on that last delivery. Gave John O'Hara to put his hands through the ball. Timed it beautifully over mid off. Here's Augustine in again. Bowls. O'Hara down the wicket. John O'Hara pulls in the air. Straight to mid on though. Out. Good little innings that from John. Um, good length though. He saw him coming. Dug it in short. And then I clothed one straight to mid on.
35 for 2, which is 6.5. Or is that over? No, that's over, I think. 7 overs bowled. 35 for 2. John O'Hara made 10. Rohit on 21. 33 runs required. They'll still be backing Merrin here. I mean, it would take a serious collapse for them to lose. Yeah, they're, they're going strong. Naranjan Shankar just comes to the crease. He's on strike as well. I don't think the batsman crossed. It's a pity that the season has had to end without fans down at Angsty Road. We were getting good crowds. Yeah, expected 10,000 here today, I think. <laughs> it's annoying. A lot of local uh, people come down, watch, bring their dogs, enjoy the day, but unfortunately, that's cut short this year. Change of bowling from the Stephen Sinu. Keith Reynolds in for the attack. Keep it back. Oh, I'm going to see. There he is. Bowled. Oh, it's on a length. That's well bowled. Dot ball. Shankar just blocks that straight to extra cover for no run. John Anderson tells me he's a very canny bowler. He's played a bit in the ones. Has Reynolds. Bowls again. Oh, good shot from Shankar. Off his hip for one. Ooh. Good running from Rohit. Great backing up there. That shot is exactly what Ninja does to get off the mark most games. He's good off his legs. I think as a left-handed batsman, you've got to be you've got to be good on the onside. A lot of balls will be bowled at your stumps, so he's he's quite good at that. Well practiced. I think Rohit will be looking to kill the game this over. In the next couple of overs, just so that like the innings just doesn't drag on. Yeah, we're 36 for two after seven, requiring 32 more runs. That's 13 overs. Reynolds bowls. Rohit goes big, that and is that is massive. Hits the flats. That's long. It's the third story of the flats. It's a great shot. Jeez, he's got past hold of that. Very happy captain, Connor Austin. Reynolds just over pitching there, and Rohit's just said, go fetch. He's just said, boom. That's yeah, long. Big shot. Right out of the middle there. Wow, we. Mm. I've seen some good shots today by the Marion batsman. And that's the length you're looking for as a batsman in T20 cricket. If they over pitch, he's really got hold of that. Yeah, it was right in the slot. Mm. He was able to open up his legs and just smash it over the top. Here's Reynolds in again. Wouldn't have thought he'd be bowling that full again. Oh, he just bowls a bit shorter there. Well bowled. Much better length there from Reynolds. Rohit just working that to square leg for no one. We saw some great death bowling by the Marion bowlers, hitting a lot of Yorkers. We haven't seen that yet from Malahide. I think that that should be a, a tactic at this stage. Which the umpire's just checking how many to come. Two balls to come in the eighth over. Reynolds bowls. Rohit just goes back, punches that one straight to cover. Better length this from Reynolds. Dragged his length back. After Rohit hit him for that long six. He's really, he's got hold of that wow, really. Straight out of the screws. Here he is, Reynolds in again here. Bowls. Rohit goes, tries to go again here. Just gets it over mid-off. I think they'll take two here, yeah. Not the nicest shot in the world, but gets two runs. Yeah, that was that length again. It'd be disappointed, I think. Missed out. Yeah, we'll get two more runs to the total, which takes us to 42, 44 for, f for two after eight overs. 30 runs required. And 32 required. I think Cy Reddy is patiently waiting. I'd love to get out, hit a few sixes here. Yeah, there's a change of bowling again here. Looks like they're going to go for a spin option. Left arm spin. Neil Boyne. Changes pace a lot, John Anderson tells me. Left arm spin. 
Let's see what uh, Shankar tries to do here. Uh, 32 runs of five. Don't really want to be that batsman who has to come in and do it. Um, so hopefully these two get the job done. Put you in this position a couple of weeks ago, Sean. I think it was against Leinster. Yeah. So two to win. Hopefully Max Sorensen is batting at the other end. And <laughs> he likes hitting sixes and I like blocking the ball. So it was a good <laughs> combination. If I was a betting man, I'd put my money on Naranjan getting down on one leg and trying to sweep the ball here. It's one of his favourite shots to spinners, but I'm not a betting man, so we'll wait and see. Let's change into field here. Field is deep backwards square, got a cow corner. Mid off back and deep extra cover. Seems quite straight actually. Yeah, mid on's in the ring actually. Interesting. I'll play it against the spin, I think he wanted to do. Um, yeah, the sweep's on. Definitely on. There he is, in the corner. Bowls. Slow pace, well bowled. It's bowled in. Great delivery first up there from Boyne. Yeah, Get Shankar coming forward, just drags that foot out. That's a turn back through the gate. That's why I'm not a betting man. <laughs> I would have been <laughs> very wrong. Went on the front front foot and missed the ball and got bowled, unfortunately. Here he is. He's, he's the ready. The crowds have been waiting for him. Sorry, ready. Coming into the crease. Cap on. No messing around. Yeah, I'm ready to see a bit of ready here. Yeah, he's apparently a serious player. Yeah. He's a... Uh, he's ball a long way. Yeah, some of the biggest sixes I've seen here... Yeah? ...have been definitely hit by him. That's really well bowled, though, from Boyne. First ball. Getting Shankar to come forward. Yeah, good change up by the Malahide captain. Turned on the spin, the seam wasn't wasn't working wonders, so they had to change it up a bit. Yeah, interesting approach from Reddy here, whether he just goes from ball one. Here he seems to give himself some time. Loosening up. It is Boyne in again. Oh, change of field. Sending mid on back. Oh no. Just push him around a bit. Stay in, he's in the ring. It is Boyne. Bowls. Good length. Oh, so already with some hard hands there. Gets away with it. Good length out from Boyne. Looks like he knows what he's doing. He's played a good bit of first team cricket, so I'm sure he'll have bowled under pressure before. Here he is again, Boyne bowls, ready on strike. Oh, he's really gone for one there. Well bowled. Sires tried to please the five members of the crowd here, but unfortunately has missed the ball. Yeah, mid off and mid on, just gone back. It's Boyne. And again, ready. Tries to work that one through mid on. Doesn't get any of it. Boyne has fields off his own bowling. Yeah, bowling really well here. Good pace. Yeah, in again. Sai back. Just works it off his hip. For one. Well played. Take the yeah, single. If they wanted it, I reckon there was two on the cards, but obviously chasing 60 odd or whatever, chasing not. Not worth the risk. Yeah, He's 32 required off 12 overs. Well. Probably 11.2 overs now. Yeah, Rohit playing well. First ball, he plays some spin to the innings. Here's Boyne in again. Bowls. Rohit getting forward, well ball, great length. It's a really impressive start, that from Boyne. Yeah, bowling left arm around the wicket to the right-hander. I think putting it in at his pads and then turning it away. It's, a, it's always tricky as a batsman to face that. Especially when it's pitched on a good length, as Neil Boyne seemed to do. Score is 45 for three off nine overs. 23 runs required. Rohit on 29. And Reddy just comes to the crease on one. Looks like to be Reynolds again at Stevenson's end.
very happy see happy to see we have 19 listeners now. That's um, all in the commentary, mate. Yeah, we uh, not the most exciting game here, unfortunately. Yeah, 18 of them are confirmed to be in the ground, but <laughs> apart from that, love and life as the microphone goes for a walkabout. Here's Reynolds in again. Bowls. Oh, good length from Reynolds again. Just outside that off stump. Keeper has come up. Decided to change a plan. Bring the keeper up. Yeah, I much prefer this plan. Keep the batsman inside his crease. Reynolds just pushing back. And here he is again. Bowls. Ready just works that off his legs for one. Oh, run outs on. No, good running. Good yeah. running from Rohit. Yeah, I think as a batsman, if you're if the keeper's up and the bowler's bowling well as a seamer, it's very difficult to score off, especially when you can't charge and use your feet. Um, well, you can, but it's a but it's a risk. Here's Reynolds. Bowls. Ooh, I don't think Rohit was quite ready for that one. He looks at the bowler saying, uh, he's "He was either not ready or he was waving at the bowler. We're unsure of which." Here is Reynolds. Bowls again. Good length. Better length. Rohit just works that out to deep cover for one. Sun, sun's starting to yeah. come out here at Marion. Hopefully stays out. For Could the be whole, in Sydney for, for all we day. know. It's a warm day here in Dublin. Yeah, lovely day. Bowls. Reynolds. Oh, oh, Reddy tries to go big there. Misses out. Sorry, just hasn't hasn't connected with the ball much so far, but he's only been in for about an over. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I think it'd be a difficult wicket to actually come in and just go from ball one. I mean, Rowe has given himself enough time to sort of see other wickets playing and then go. Um, but no, Sai's looking to go here. There's Reynolds bowls. Shot. It's a nice shot. He threw them down to long off for one. In the air, though. It's over up. 47 for three after 10 overs. I think we'll see the spin stay on here. Yeah, Boyne's bowling really tightly here. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets through four quick ones. It's a good bowling partnership here and a three off that over. And then the wicket. Boyne got the over before, so I think they'll keep going with these two bowlers. They're bowling well. And still only t 20 runs required off the last 10 overs, but you'd think they don't want to take it any deeper than 15. Yeah, 20 runs, quite a few wickets required. Yeah, this is the danger. Boyne bowling these left arm spinners. Mm. Um, don't know if there's a bit of turn there. Obviously one that got Shankar. Yeah, left arm spin. Both teams have one left arm spinner. Daniel Forkin for Marion. This one Boyne for Malahide. Probably there's a little bit of a height difference, but two similar bowlers. He's born again. Bowls. Oh. Yeah, go on. Great work behind the stumps. Ready has to go. Boyne proving a real threat for Malahide here. Yeah, unfortunately, Ready slid the back foot out there. Yeah, he wasn't holding back there, Ready. He's yeah. connected with that one that's going over the pavilion, but unfortunately, he has to go. And here comes James Hitchcock to the crease. He's had a great day with the ball. Hopefully, he can continue it with the bat. He scored 50. In rush for this team a few weeks ago, so he's he's definitely well capable. Yeah, relatively informed player at the moment, taking wickets and scoring runs. Yeah, good fielder. Very good fielder. Yeah. He's spent a lot of time at deep back of the square this year. And very good golfer, plays off one. Serious player. Yeah. It's a very long ball for the tee, apparently. Um, be interested to see what his approach is here. Um, Boyne bowling very well. Trying to drag the batsman outside, outside the crease, but just hitting that consistent length. What would you try to be doing here, Shorty? Would you try and work it around, or would you try and kill the game uh, in the next couple of hours? First things first, I'd try not to get bowled. Yeah. But um, other than that, I'd no, you're in form at the moment. Uh, 50 at rush the other week. A little bit of form, yeah. Yeah. Uh, disappointed we hadn't got a game form. this week. Yeah, very disappointed. But yeah, no, I think I think facing bowlers on Marion pitches, you've got to be you've got to be pretty good on the front foot. Is that a slight dig at the uh, the groundsman? Uh, no, 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 no dig at the groundsman. Marion, Marion pitches are great pitches, but they're just the ground is built on a floodplain, so it's it's never going to be the whack up. 
So he's born again. He bowls a really short delivery. It allows Hitchcock to get off the mark. One to extra cover. Yes. It, it seems to be a flat pitch today. I think I think the bowlers have just outperformed the batters. I don't think we can blame the conditions at all. And he's born. Bowls to Rohit. Gets him going. He hits that well. Slog sweep. Straight out to Deep well Cow. Fielded. Really well Pickle. fielded there. And he's kept him to one. That's really good. good shot from Rohit though. Seen that Boyne's trying to hit that consistent length. He got out to it. Swept it over mid wicket for one. Here's Hitchcock. Boyne bowls. Oh, well bowled. A little bit of pace off that one. Skiddy on. Score 50 for four off 10. Here's Boyne. Bowls. Oh, it's good length. Oh, wide ball. It's a free run for Marion. They'll be happy with that. <laughs> Very happy, especially the batsman coming in next. I don't know who's padded. I think it's Jack Atkinson padded up. Ready to come in next. Short one from Boyne. Hitchcock pulls. Could be two if they want it. Nah, they say one's enough. Oh, nearly collision in the field there. Uh, good throw in. It's the one. Boyne bowling really tightly here. is again. Boyne to Rohit. Bowls. Oh, pushes him back. That's the length he's got to be hitting, I reckon. Good length from Rohit. And that's the over bowl. That's a really good length from Boyne. I think I think batsmen in general, when they're when they're facing spinners and they're bowling good lengths, they need to choose to either get right back to them or get right out to them. When you when you try to go somewhere in the middle and you try a regulation block to spinners when they're bowling good lengths, it's very difficult. Yeah. And uh, that's coming from experience. Um, I've, I've gotten out to spinners a good few times, so I uh, kicking them off middle, kicking them off middle. So no, I hate to see if it. in doubt, use the pads. Yeah, mm. I think that's I think that's good life lesson for any of the youngsters listening. If in doubt, or, use the or pads. Or the older older generation listening. Yeah, you know? we're playing taverners. You can't get out LB, can you? I've I've played one game of taverners before. Yeah, yeah great it's format. G good good format. Good fun. Um, you can't get out first ball, can you? First ball free, you're right. I mean, that is yeah. an absolute and game changer. T 25, 25 retired. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, John wouldn't be happy with that, I don't think. I mean, when he gets 25 or 10 yeah. balls, he'd, he'd yeah, be wanting to kick on. Yeah, a few disappointed batsmen when they have to come off after 25. But, yeah, Tavener's cricket, and there's a thing in Marion Cricket Club called Cavaliers cricket as well. Change of bowling. Back to the opening bowler. He runs in. Bowls to Hitchcock. Hitchcock on the drive, and that's moan through extra cover. Beautiful shot. It's a lovely shot. Hitchcock looking to get on with it now. Face three balls. And he's absolutely timed that beautifully through extra cover. Serious shot that from Hitchcock. Tell he's in form. Yeah, Hitchcock definitely shown that he can bowl and bat. He's not just a one man show. He's, he's the a Jack Callis of Marion Cricket Club. Uh, yeah, he is a one man show. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to say Kennedy coming in next, but I just can't see that happening, I don't think. Yeah, Hugh, Hugh Kennedy, another informed bowler. When he's batting, he likes to hit it straight for six. There he is, bowls again to Hitchcock. Hitchcock uh, times that through. Extra cover for one. Oh, to these extra. Or fielded on the, ro on the rope. Rowett's played a really good innings here, actually. He's just allowed him to steady the ship. He gave himself a lot of time up top. Now only 11 runs required now. 57 for 4 off 11. He runs again. Bowls to Rohit. Oh, well bowl. Just kept it low, that. Good delivery. Sun beating down here on Anglesey Road. Beautiful day. Comes again. Bowls to right. Right. Oh. Given. Oh, given him. Umpire. Faintest of edges there. And Rowe has to go. Well bowled. Umpire takes his time. Put under a bit of pressure from the appeal. And says, yeah, that's out. That's a good appeal, that though. I mean, took his time, the ump, as you say. And he's yeah. Look, you don't mind to see that umpire take your time. Get the decision right. 
took his time. We Gert Rush gave me out LB, which was pretty frustrating at the time, but probably deserved it playing a ramp. Okay, that's uh, I don't think it's in in the game today, but I remember my dad telling me that back in the day, if people were playing reverse sweeps and shots like that, that if it hit you on the pads, most of the time the umpire would give you out. That it yeah. wasn't really a shot that you played. Good innings there from Rohit, yeah, 31. Solid innings, 31. Brings Jack Atkinson to the crease. Hitch is telling him to do here. I mean, both ball pretty well. Good take from the keeper there. I mean, 11 runs required. It's a horrible situation for Atkinson to come in. Yeah, always difficult coming in at this stage. Jack's a proper batter, and it's annoying when there's only 11 runs required. Kind of, you don't feel like you can do much. And only hit the runs required, and then your day is done. Yeah, I'm still surprised to see Deepak recover out. Get him in there. Yeah, Get a I few think. dots going. Make him play these shots. I think yeah, that's that's where Malahide have fallen down this innings is they haven't been aggressive enough with the ball. They should yeah. have gotten a couple of slips in, and really put the pressure on Marion. Bowls again to Atkinson. Oh, mm, Atkinson hit on the tries to work that. Yeah, that's a better shot. I mean he. He tries to work that down to third man. A pretty straight delivery. More bold. Yeah, both mid on and mid off up here. Time one over top. Four runs guaranteed though. Yeah, he's coming in again here. Back gets in on strike. Bowls. Oh, has a real go at that one outside the off stump. That is over bold. Looking for the square drive. It's five off the over. Scored a 57 for five off 12 overs. Hitchcock moves on to seven. Mm -hmm. Atkinson yet to get off the mark. Two informed batters here. Both Atkinson and Hitchcock have hit a few 50s this year, so they know what they're doing, and they'll be hoping to get on with it and knock off the 11 required. Uh, Boyne bowling well, though, here. Yeah, still Boyne. You don't want to lose too many wickets now. I mean, obviously five down, but... A couple more, and you never know. Yeah, I think I think even for the confidence of the team, you want to be chasing these strong and not losing a lot of wickets. Especially if Marion go through to the semi-finals, they want to really have confidence in their batting lineup. Looks like Danny Forkin to come in next. Here is Boyne. Balls to Hitchcock. Short delivery. Hitchcock pulls that. Could be two there. Mm, a little bit mistimed. A bit of a half tracker. Would have been looking to hit that for six, but yeah, at this point he missed out there, I reckon. Mm. Atkinson in the field, deep cover, deep square leg out. Big cow as well. It's Boyne Bowles. Good length. Oh, just a wide delivery. Been impressed with his lengths today, actually. Yeah, very good lengths. Consistent. A couple of wides, but his lengths have been spot on. Comes in again to Atkinson. Good length. Oh, he's got a little by tickle Jack. on that. Yeah, that could be four. I feel just sped up in this second innings. I think Ams is going to give runs or buy. Yeah, he's giving it his runs. Good shot from Atkinson. Yeah, just played it off. Played it off the face of the bat. Three more runs. Only nine required now. In again, Bowles. Oh, goes back to cut that. Just skids on, no run. He's point again. Oh, a bold. X just times that straight to extra cover. Just dropping that back leg there. I wonder is that is that why he's not getting the power through the cover shot there? But sure. Yeah, it's a good shot. Unlucky. Better play. Picking out that man. Stance. Picking that man out extra cover again there. Seven runs required. Here's Boyne. Good lengths. Oh, if he won it, I reckon that was one there. Just picked Just out a good few fielders nice. this over. I think that's what that's what comes over time of just playing a lot of cricket is you're able to hit the gaffs naturally. You don't have to think about it. You're you're hitting it through cover. You're not picking out the fielders every time. A lot of the, a lot of the good guys in this team who've played a lot of cricket, 
will 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 know that. But Jack will certainly learn that in the next few years. I'd say he's a good good promising batsman. Hopefully, play a bit of ones cricket next year. Bat up the order. I mean, with Hitchy's bowling at the moment, I mean, he's not. He hasn't had. He hasn't bowled much in the ones this year at all. I mean, obviously rec recovering from that back injury, but bowling really quick this year. Been yeah. tough to face in the nets. Yeah, Hitchy's always been a solid bowler. I think it's there's a lot of bowlers. Once you, the more you go up the teams, everybody seems to be able to bowl and hold the bat and everything. So it's difficult for everybody to get a bowl. But Hitchy definitely has proven today why. He's a great bowler. And Hitchcock and strike times that beautifully. Out to long off for one. Six required now for a mirror in victory. Six required. Atkinson's looking at the scoreboard. I think they'll be looking to finish it this over. Yeah, I think. If I know Atkinson, I think he's going to try finish it in style. Again here, full ball. Oh, he got a little edge on that. Misses out there. Full toss outside the off stump. Yeah, missed out. It looked like the right shot, but didn't hit the ball. Not the greatest delivery, but Atkinson misses out there. Unless you recover back. In again here, Atkinson on strike. Bowls. That's better. Could be two there if he wants it. Three point. Says no. Takes the one. No risk involved. Yeah, just nice square drive there from Atkinson. Yeah, it looked like he got a bit more forward to that one. And albeit a full toss outside the off stump, but still. I think Hitchcock is, is going to look over extra cover here. Oh, if I know Hitchy, I reckon he'll be wanting, wanting to be not out of the end, I reckon. Wanting oh to finish no. it. Hitchy likes a good good four over extra oh it's a wide delivery yeah I think it, his golf recently has been going over extra cover a lot so he's been practicing it that high fade yeah a high fade um, some would say a slice but I think I think it's a high fade yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean looking around a lot for rivers and bushes for those balls oh yeah exciting you golf yeah yeah that's, that's what we like to see Hit you on the drive. Good shot down the ground for one. Nicely timed. Bring four required from Marion. Oh, yeah, three required now. Um. Yeah, three required. 65 for five here off 13. In again here. Atkinson on strike. Just tries to work that. There's two there if they want it. Atkinson says no. Just has the happy with the one. Shorter two. boundary out there. I don't know. I don't know what they made it back for two, but certainly, certainly would have been good to see some intent. Here's Hitchy. Any bows? Oh, wide delivery, I reckon. Yeah, he's given it as a wide. Hitch was looking to go over. Extra cover there, I reckon, yeah, yeah. as he practices that shot now. Interesting approach from Malahide. One required, but still deep cover yeah, on the he's boundary. He's coming in now. Mm -hmm. They've changed it now. Everybody in the ring. Here he is. Hitchcock on strike. Oh! Big LB shot there, then the little side edge. Also probably probably sliding down. That's over up. One required. 67 for five after 14. Six runs off the over. I think Jack Atkinson will be looking to finish at first ball here. Hitchcock's had a pretty good day at the office today. Yeah. Good bowling good figures. Ten not out. Good for the stats. Very good for the stats, mate. Got the red ink. Get a few wickets. Change of ends with Keith Reynolds here. Yeah, Reynolds opened from, or not opened, but started from the Stevenson's end. He's now bowling from the Hazeldean end. He 
keep her up. Here is Reynolds. Oh, that ball. Reynolds in here. Bowls to Atkinson. Atkinson, very solid defensive shot. One for the cameras there. And they run. Yeah, nice little pose after the shot. He knew the live stream was on, so he wants to, he wants to look good. Yeah, shame no photographers in the ground there today. Mm. Here's Reynolds in again. Atkinson again. Just it's good length that from Reynolds there. Straight to mid off, no run. Yeah, Jack just looking to get time with the crease here. Yeah, working on his average. Staying in. There's Reynolds. Runs in. Balls at length again. Oh, there oh, it is. Agassin through extra cover. That'll do it. Oh, oh, it's good fielding. I only got the single off that ball, but the single was enough. That'll do it. Merrion win by five wickets with five overs to spare. Good win, that. It's been a, it's been a great performance by Merrion, especially with the ball. I think the bat, a little bit shaky, losing five wickets, but they will be very happy that their season is hopefully not over, that they've given their self, themselves the best chance of going through and in the semi-final. Just pass you over to John Anderson to just run through the figures for you. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a quick check through the figures. Who knows? We might get the skipper of the winning side over for a chat, Mr. Connor Austin. I think I think everybody in Marion Crick Club knows knows the man and be happy to hear from him. So in that innings there, opened up with Timsey and John O'Hara. Timsey making one, John O'Hara making ten. In came Rohit and got 31 off 29. Probably the best batter of Marion today. Uh, Naranjan Shankar came in, one off three. Then followed by Sai Reddy, scoring only three. Disappointing day. Was hoping to see some sixes from Sai. He's been so good all season. And finishing it out was James Hitchcock and Jack Atkinson. And for anybody watching now, the next game is going to be streamed. Start at five, so there'll be. Ho hopefully, we'll see you all again. Uh, possible commentary again, who knows? And uh, live streaming. So, hope you enjoyed Marion's first live commentary streaming. Speak to you soon.